How are you going to do this weekend? Uh, I want to go somewhere that I can get a lot of sunshine. I'm tired of this gloomy weather. Sunshine? Why don't you travel to southern Taiwan? I've heard that the weather there is really sunny. And I bet that you, if you go there now, it will be, the weather is great right now. Good idea. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so our topic today is traveling in south southern Taiwan. And we are Eva. Uh, <laughs> because um, our name are Eva, both of us. Okay, uh, when we talk about the southern part of Taiwan, the first place that pops into our mind is Canton. But do you know there is uh, do you know there is a lot of a lot of uh, interesting places besides Canton. And in addition, we will tell you something you may not know about Canton. Uh, in order to give you this this uh, speech, we've done a lot of research. We've read about seven traveling books and searched for 30 websites. And we were both born and grew up there. So we are credible for this speech. Okay, and today we're going to introduce to you Tainan, Kaohsiung, and Kunding, which are all located in southern Taiwan. And we will cover the delicacies, famous tourist sites, and comfortable hotels to stay in each city. Okay, now let's begin our journey and fly to Tainan. <laughs> and first, I'd like to start by telling you what Tainan is most famous for. It's various kinds of traditional snacks. And first one is the coffin bread. Basically, coffin bread is a thick slice of white bread that has been hollowed out and filled with the ingredients and covered by a thin slice of toast. And the fillings now usually consist of the thick seafood chowder and with assorted vegetables. And maybe its name might lead you to think that its ingredients are very dangerous to consume, but it's only the shape of the sandwich and the cover gave the inspiration of its name. And the second one is Danzai noodles. Uh, the west side of Tainan is near the sea, and therefore a lot of people will earn their livings by go fishing. But actually there are some seasons during a year that's not suitable but very dangerous to go fishing. So some people will go on the street and sell the Danzai noodles in order to support their livelihood. And the differences between the Danzai noodles and the normal soup noodles are that the minced pork sauce used is tastier and there are always shrimps on the top of the noodles. And after having the coffee bread and the Danzai noodles, you must want some sweet. No problem, let's taste the tofu pudding, one of the most famous sweet in Tainan. Uh, by its name, you can tell that tofu pudding, tofu pudding is made by soybeans such as pudding, such as tofu, and it tastes like pudding. The most basic way to eat tofu pudding is to add the syrup only. But the sellers nowadays develop a lot of flavors, so you can have the tofu pudding with a lot of choices, such as the red beans, sweet potatoes, and bubbles, which are put into the bubble tea milk. And after having these delicacies, it's time for us to take a walk. Now, uh, Thailand has a long history, as therefore it is very famous for its uh, historic monuments. Now I'm going to introduce two of my favorite ones. The first place we're heading to is Anping Tree House. Anping Tree House used to be the British businessman's warehouse while Taiwan was forced to open up for international trading. And it then turned into the Japanese sought storehouse while Taiwan was governed by the Japanese. And after the tree house was no longer in use, it was occupied by the banyans. As you can see in the picture, banyans are the trees which, whose roots are very deep rooted. And uh, the roots climbed on the walls and the roofs, and it grows from inside to outside of the house and making it a place for adventure. And the Tainan city government then rebuilt the tree house and it now became an integration of nature, ecology, and humanities industry. At 
after exploring the Anping Tree House, let's move on to next place, Chiku Salt Mountain. The salt drying used to be a very important industry in the southwestern side of Taiwan, and Chiku was the largest sun dried field for sea salts in this area. And no, the Chiku Salt Mountain no longer produced the salt now, but it then turned into a very popular tourist scenic spot. And here you can climb on the snow white salt mountain and admire the salt statues. You can also taste the salty popsicles. And now it's time for us to find a place to take a rest. Tonight we're going to stay at the Sha Du Garden Resort. The resort does not only provide you with high standard services, but also take hospitality their prime uh, prime go. And while staying in the resort, you can not only uh, enjoy the comfortable room, but you can also use the facilities. They provide you with the finest buffet and the facilities, such as the indoor swimming pool and spa and the open air barbecue area.